Hey everyone, thank you for checking out my channel. Today, we'll be working on this credenza. This credenza has been in my family for the past 25 years, and when we downsized our home, we no longer had space for this credenza. And we stored it at my grandpa's house for the past few years, collecting a lot of dust, dirt, cobwebs, spider eggs, and even some cat pee. When my mom originally bought this piece, it was all green, and later on my dad painted it all black. This credenza is all MDF and probably weighs around 400 pounds, which is why it's on a dolly most of this video. First thing I started doing was cleaning this piece. I'm just using some all purpose spray and a clean rag. You can just see all the Sharpie on this door here. There is so much Sharpie on this piece, including the inside of these doors too. After I finished up cleaning, I then removed the doors and the hinges. I also like to number the hinges so I know where they went originally. Now I am scraping away the puffed up MDF and I'm using this little scraper that has a razor blade attached to it and that was working pretty well.
now I am just mixing up some Bondo. And I'm applying the Bondo to the area I just scraped and sanded. There was also puffed up MDF on this door here that I am scraping off as well. And then I applied Bondo to the area that I just scraped. Once the Bondo dried, I then sanded it with 150 grit sandpaper on my Dwell Orbital Sander.
Okay, so here I am stripping the top. I don't know why I decided to strip the top. Honestly, there was no point for me to strip the top. It was such a pain and it was so messy. I don't know why I did this. I don't know. I don't know, but I did and I wish I didn't. <laughs> After hours of stripping and scraping the top, this is what it looked like underneath. <laughs> so much work for nothing. <laughs> I moved on to the drawers and the first thing I did was remove all the hardware and then I applied this spackle to all the little imperfections on these drawers. Once all the spackle dried, I gave all the drawers a nice sanding with 150 grit sandpaper on my orbital DeWalt sander. Okay, now I am moving on to fake staining these drawers. These drawers are not real wood, that's why I'm fake staining them. I'm starting off by using a flat paint. This is a mistint, so I'm not exactly sure what color it is. Oh. 
The stain I am using is Verithane Gel Stain in the color Kona. And I'm wiping that on with a rag and then going in with a chip brush to create grain. before it's like a green kind of color and then this is the after with the fake stain it just looks a lot cleaner we are now spraying on the primer and the primer we are using is the kills 2 primer Moving on to priming these drawers and doors. And I am using a foam roller to apply the primer. After the primer dried, I sanded everything down with 220 grit sandpaper. This is a paint I'll be using. It's by Sherwin Williams. It's like a beigey gray color. I picked it up at the hardware store as a mist tint, so unfortunately the color of this paint is a mystery.
I cleaned up all the hardware and then for the first coat of paint I'm using a black primer. For the second coat of paint I'm using this Farmhouse Black by Rust-Oleum in the matte sheen. I thought that matte black hardware would look really good with the satin paint that is on the credenza. Now I am moving on to the top of the credenza. I'm using my flat mist tint and just painting the whole top. I am fake staining the top and I am doing the exact same thing as I did with the drawers. Now I'm using the same stain as I used on the drawers, it's just a very thin gel stain in the color Kona. And then for my second coat, I'm just using a chip brush to create the grain.
And then for my top coat, I'm using the General Finishes Gel Top Coat. It's oil based and the sheen is satin. I'm applying this top coat with a brush and then wiping it off with a rag. where the stain got on the top lip where it was painted. I tried using mineral spirits to get it off and it was not working. So I used a little brush just to cover up all the stained areas. And then I put the hinges and the doors back on. Just a little reminder, this is what the credenza looked like before. And here is what it looks like now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.